This new mother has just given birth to a baby boy. He brings with him a valuable resource to help others. Among industrialized nations, the United States has one of the highest birth rates in the world. But even in the U.S., the blood that supplies nutrition and oxygen from mother to baby is often thrown away once the umbilical cord is cut. Dr. Elizabeth Spall of MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, Texas, says very few mothers know how valuable this resource can be. The majority of women delivering babies in the United States still are not aware of this possibility, and it is extremely frustrating. In healthy mothers, the umbilical cord blood is rich with stem cells that can turn into life-giving red and white blood cells and platelets. The red blood cells circulate oxygen throughout the body. The white blood cells help fight infection. And platelets prevent bleeding by helping to form blood clots. The cord blood becomes a valuable resource to treat leukemia, as well as other types of cancer, and many immune and genetic disorders. Jesus Santoyo developed leukemia when he was 13 years old. His life was saved with donated cord blood. Now he says he wants to help others. I know I want to make a difference in other people's lives because they've made a difference in mine. There has been a recent trend among some new parents to store cord blood for their own family's emergency use. But that is not recommended unless there is an older child who could benefit from the transplantation. Dr. Joanne Kurtzberg is with Duke University's medical school. The chances that a person would use their own child's cord blood to help that child are somewhere between 1 in 20,000 all the way up to 1 in 200,000. Storing one's own cord blood is expensive. Donating it is free. There are blood banks set up to preserve cord blood and make it available to anyone who needs it. Dr. Kurtzberg says the donation of this blood is a priceless gift. It's a substance that's biologically active. It has no other real application, and it can save a life. There are 20 blood banks in the United States that take in umbilical cord blood and two international registries that provide information about the blood. There is no health risk to the mother or baby, and the procedure is painless. Ninety-five percent of new mothers in a survey reported they would have donated the cord blood if they had known how much it would mean to others. Melinda Smith, VOA News.